Listen, go into 2023 with God, the only true and living God, the one that framed the world with his words. Okay. Why? Because God said today in prayer that he's going to destroy the foundations, every fake feign and phony foundation. In other words, these idols, God said he's going to destroy them. And what he said, how he was going to destroy them is through a hammer and fire. And I knew he was talking about his word. Why? Because he said his word is as a hammer and fire. And that lets me know that God is about to expose the enemy. He's about to expose the fakeness, the phony, the feign. He's about to expose that. How do we know? Because God said at the entrance of his word, it giveth light. And whenever God expose a thing by his light, that means God is about to get that thing got. God is about to destroy it. And I'm telling you, if you have been using anything, if you have been relying upon, depending upon and trusting in anything besides God, please reject it now. Why? Because if you don't, that is your foundation. And when God destroys it, that means your feet are going to be taken. How do I know? Because God said that it is only through his confidence, his word, his foundation, in other words, that he will see that our feet be not taken. Not only that, God said that the feet of the righteous shall not be removed, that we shall inherit the earth, but the feet of the wicked shall be removed and not inherit the earth. Which means what? If God is not your foundation and you're using other things as your foundation, which makes them fake, phony, and feign, and idols, that means what? You will be in the same stead as the wicked, that your feet will be removed, and you will not inherit the earth. In other words, you will not receive the, the, the portions that belong to you from God, from his inheritance. That's what God is saying today. You cannot have God and have this on the side. You cannot say, I believe in God and work in crystal laments and believing in a crystal to heal you, to bring you peace, to bring you money. You get what I'm saying? You cannot say, I believe and trust God, but you're going to rely on your wife to do everything. Well, my wife know how to do that. You, you depend, you make your wife as an idol. You make your, your husband as an idol, your children as an idol, your stuffed animal as an idol, your pets as an idol. You saying your pets bring you peace. But last I checked, God said that if we keep our minds say it on him that he will keep us in perfect peace that peace that surpasses all understanding God has given us a covenant of peace and he said he will not break it so God is saying that he see all these idols all these fake and phony and feigned foundations and God is saying he's going to destroy them He's going to pulverize them with his hammer, his word, and he's going to set it on fire his unquenchable fire he's going to set that thing on fire with his fire and then the ashes the remnants of it he's going to blow it away into the abyss, into the wind, into the abyss. That's what God is going to do with every fake, feign, and phony thing of idols. He's going to get rid of it. And if that's where your feet has been dwelling, that means you are going to fail. You're going to find yourself in a, in a, in a defeated, in a place of despair, in a place of, of distraught, in a space of being confused. That's where you're going to find yourself. I'm telling you the truth. That's what God said. God said he does not want you to be in a state where you don't have stability in your footing. That's why David said, God, enlarge my steps so that my feet won't slip. But here's the thing. God is not going to enlarge our steps so that our feet won't slip if we're not on his foundation. That's why God said upon this rock, what rock? Him, his word. He will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. We are the church, y'all. We are God's temple. We're God's temple. We're the church. And if we're not on the rock, God's rock, his foundation, that means what? The gates of hell will prevail. You will see hardship and not come out of it. There will be no deliverance. 
Why? Because where your feet are is where idols dwell. And God said, these idols have eyes and can't see ears and can't hear a nose and cannot smell a mouth and cannot speak hands and cannot deliver. In other words, cannot deliver or save you. And therefore you'll find yourself in a hardship with no savior. And God is saying today, reject the fake phony and feigned foundations of these idols. Only trust in him. Only rely upon him. Only depend on him. Why? Because God said, trust in your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your way, your paths. That's why I say he will lead us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. But if our feet are not stable, if we're slipping in a sliding as if we're on skates, then there's no way we will be able to be on the right pathway. There's no way that we'll be able to have what God wants for us, which is his best. And God is saying, if you want the best, which is his best in 2023, then you got to enter into 2023 with him and him alone. Like I told you, because we are the temple upon this rock, God's foundation, he's building us, his church. And God said, because we are the church, we're his temple. There should be no other God in his temple, but him, only him, only him. And God is saying, when you make him to be the one in your temple, in the church, then that means what? That you will be in a space where God will indeed use you. Why? Because because you're the church, you're the temple, you have now become the altar where God dwells. And where God dwells, there are signs, miracles, and wonders. There's change, there's deliverance, there's love, there's joy, there's peace. There's everything that God has, it will be in you. That's why God said, let your light so shine, but your light can't shine if there's an idol where God's supposed to be. And God is saying, reject the idol, reject the fakeness, the faintness, the phoniness of those foundations, of those fake and false doctrines, of what the world is presenting to you to be supposedly true wisdom, true doctrine. God said, reject that because it's not his truth, it's feign. And God said, he's going to destroy it with his hammer and his fire. And if your feet are on those foundations, then you're going to find yourself on a slippery slope to the bottom, beneath, below. And you know that's contrary to what God has deemed for us. God said we shall be above only and not beneath. But if your foundation is not God, then you will be beneath. You will be below. I'm just telling you the truth. I know from personal experience when God was not my rock, when God was not my foundation, you would have thought I was wearing skates every single day. I was slipping and sliding everywhere, had no stability. And when I thought I was seeing success, seeing some peace, it was never the success. It was success. It was never peace, none whatsoever. Matter of fact, what I thought was 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 was, was victory wasn't. Why? Because God was will would always come and reveal that the situation was not handled, that it was still unresolved. And what would happen that the situation would get worse than what it was before. And then that's when I had to go and go back to the drawing board and say, okay, God, this ain't it. What I've been doing ain't it. The foundation that I was on ain't it. So what happened was I began to hunger for the truth. And that is what is going to happen when God exposes these fake, phony, and feigned foundations, these idols. The people are going to begin to see the, the, the destruction of what God has done to it. And then they're going to begin to hunger and thirst for the real deal, and that's God. And as they begin to hunger and thirst, you know what God said. When you thirst and hunger for his righteousness, we shall be filled. That's why God said, well, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Why? Because when we do that, we'll be filled, and then we'll receive everything that God that we want. Because God said, then everything will be added. 
but we got to first be in a space of having the foundation of righteousness first. And when we do that, then we'll get what we are supposed to have, which is God's best. Let me read this to you right quick, like, because I'm already at 10 minutes, okay? God took me to Isaiah 45. Let me read this to you. Verse 16, it says this. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. God said, anyone that's stepping into 2023, with a fake, phony, feigned foundation, in other words, with idols, you're going to be ashamed. You're going to be embarrassed. Why? Because that that you thought was going to hold you up, that was going to bring you into victory, that was going to bring you into achieving things, it's going to let you down. God said you will be ashamed, okay? So we don't want to be ashamed. Why? Because God said that's not our portion. God said, those that are on his foundation that trust in him, we shall never be ashamed. We will not be mocked and we will not be embarrassed. And that what God said, during a time of the enemy, we shall not be ashamed. And during a time of the famine, we shall what? Be satisfied. We ain't going to be mocked. We ain't going to be ashamed. We're going to be satisfied in God. God going to make sure that we always come on top, that we make it to the top and we stay there. Because he said, our fruit shall remain. Why? Because he chose us, right? And ordained us. But if our feet are not on his foundation, then that's a whole different story. So today, God is saying, enter into 2023 with him and him alone in your temple. And watch how you will receive the abundance of God. You will receive what God has for you which is his best. I hope y'all got it. If you didn't rewind this thing, go watch again. In the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess a smile well because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Remember, I love y'all. And most of all, Jesus loves y'all too.